Many people worry about swimming at the beach because of ocean predators such as great white sharks. But Australian researchers have discovered a way that may help people stay safe in the water. So how did they accomplish this? And what natural attribute helped inspire the research? So we know that white sharks, they hunt their prey from below, so looking up. So the idea was if sharks are mistaking humans as potentially seals, if we change that silhouette, we could potentially change their behavior around uh, humans. We obviously can't test that, so the best we can do is to test against something that should be even more like their prey item, the silhouette of a seal. So what we've found out is that if we change the silhouette of a seal-shaped decoy or a seal-shaped float using some lighting, we are actually able to change the behavior of white sharks when they interact with these seal-shaped floats. And why we use lighting is because whenever you're looking at an object from below, it will always create a silhouette. So it doesn't matter what color it is, um, it'll always appear from, as a dark object because of the way the sun causes it to form a shadow. So lighting was really the only way we could change the silhouette. Being at least equal, if not brighter than the background light is important. The white shark is looking for something dark and you give it something lighter against the background. It just seems to no longer recognize it as prey. So we definitely borrowed some ideas from nature in this one. There is a lot of animals in the ocean that create their own light as a way to fool their predators. The interesting thing about what they're doing is that the light often doesn't completely cover the animal and so we've sort of taken a similar approach that we don't necessarily need to cover the entire silhouette of the decoys um, to have them to be an effective way of reducing interactions with white sharks. Our research has also uncovered a lot about white shark behaviour and how they use vision and visual cues in selecting prey and also some behavioral evidence that white sharks may bite humans because they do resemble their seal prey. The silhouette seems to be a really important um, cue so just simply having a dark object against a light background is really important. So one of the decoys we tested had a strobe light attached to it and what we found is when a strobe light was attached to the lighting so that it flashed on and off, white sharks still bit this decoy. So those momentary glimpses of the entire silhouette was enough for white sharks to then start biting that decoy. So we are trying to develop a prototype surfboard um, and there's potential to come up with new methods of protecting water users, uh, which are both safe for humans and the other animals that we share our ocean with. Uh, but there is a few more steps to go to. Um, we need to see how other potentially dangerous sharks like the bull shark and the tiger shark respond to lighting. And we also need to see how white sharks respond to these lit decoys in other scenarios. So we tested um, the sharks when we towed a sealed decoy through the water so it was moving. But they also hunt under different sort of scenarios. So sometimes if there's like a sedentary or a still object, uh, they might just lunge at it, which is quite different. They also scavenge off whale carcasses. So they do a whole range of behaviors. So it's important to test under some different scenarios as well. This actually all started when I started to think about how the shark sees. So we know that sharks don't see color. So imagine a grayscale image. And then compared to us too, they have much lower acuity. So it means they don't see as much detail as us. So if you imagine taking your goggles off underwater, um, that's about the same amount of detail as a shark can see. Um, and we've done some previous research that has shown that a human paddling a surfboard and a human swimming is really a difficult task for a white shark to differentiate from their seal. Thank you so much for joining us. 
If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe and head to the comments to let us know what topics we should cover in the future.